Hey, this is Jan, I'm the Uncommon Solopreneur and in this video I'm walking you through how I set up an abandoned cart email sequence with ThriveKit and with ConvertKit so that when somebody puts, let's say, a course of mine into the cart but then didn't complete the checkout, I can follow up with them with targeted email sequences to hopefully recover the sale. And this is obviously something that's super important. It's super commonly used on all those Shopify and WooCommerce platforms and things like that. It's not so intuitive with ThriveCard though. So let's dive into this and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing with my email segmentation course. Okay, so this is ThriveCard right now. I have my affiliate link for this platform below this video i love it i use it for all my courses and all the coaching and literally every single sale that i have everything that is on sale on my website runs with thrivecard so what you want to do is you want to go to settings and then go to the integrations tab and make sure that the convert kit account is integrated or whatever email provider you use it's the same same process for everybody literally so I have this done right now and there's a good documentation for ThriveCard. So I'm not going to use uh, this video to walk you through this, but instead what I'll do is we go into the product settings. This is the product where I want to show you what I've done. Click on edit and then we go to behavior. All right, you can see there are a few rules already for the purchase and for the refunds of the main product and the order bump. Now let's add a rule for abandoned cards. So you can do this inside the behavior rules when the card is abandoned. Use ConvertKit, that is what I use for my email marketing. I'll add them to an existing tag and I call the tag action abandoned card master email segmentation. So that gives me what it is. It is an action they took an action step, they abandoned the card for this product. So we we'll save this and then we we'll save and get URL because we we'll need that URL inside the abandoned card recovery sequence. And then what we'll do inside ConvertKit is I have set up this new sequence and a new automation and I'll walk you through the automation first. So the trigger is, is added to a tag and then we'd obviously use the tag we just connected to inside uh, inside ConvertKit, uh, inside ThriveCard, sorry. And we, we will build this from scratch. So one thing that I'll do is I'll remove them from any other automation. And in this case, I want to remove them from my evergreen automation in particular because I want to not have confusing emails go out. So when I send this recovery sequence, I do not want them to get any other promotional materials because that might confuse their decision-making process. So we do that. I then have a tag that says is currently being promoted so that when they sign up for any other sequence in the meantime, maybe they download a different lead magnet or something like that, they get the short form version of that lead magnet and they don't go into that nurturing sequence. And then I send them the actual recovery. So this is a sequence inside ConvertKit, a series of emails is called a sequence and I have the prefix AC for abandoned card and then the product name, master email segmentation, which we might argue is not the best product name ever, but that's what it is. And then when they are through the, the automation, we remove the tag that they are in a promotion and we put them back into this evergreen sequence. And that's the end of this automation. Now, what is in the email series? I have three emails right now, unpublished changes, so we'll publish those. The first one goes out immediately, which is probably after 15 minutes or so. That's when the abandoned card functionality triggers. Just says with the card icon, forgot something in your card. Hi, and then some personalization going on here. It looks like you left something behind. Return to your card to complete your master email segmentation purchase. 
since this is a lowercase p. Then the link says as an alt text, please turn on your images to see this. And the URL goes to the checkout page inside Thrivecart. And that's where we need this checkout link right here in the product settings. There's the right tab. Now I also have this button that says return to cart has the same link and you can even set up a tagging clicked return to cart master email segmentation. So that when somebody clicks on this link, I can tag them. But this didn't work, so we'll do this on a different scenario. I'll show you how to do this in a more structured way. And then this is the, the footer right here. It says, I can't wait to introduce you to the other course members who are already learning how to segment their email list. Email subscribers, rather. For more engagement and profit. And then there's my signature at the end. Publish changes. Now, three hours later, if they still didn't buy, there's another follow-up and I give them a $25 coupon code that use coupon is this coupon code and you know now know it too, so feel free to use it. Uh, return to the cart now to complete your purchase and start segmenting your email subscribers like a pro. Now, how do you get this coupon URL specifically inside Thrivecart? Let's have a look at that. You go back to the products and then to coupons. And I have this coupon code right here that says abandoned card recovery. But let's go through this and create this from scratch. My demo code, demo 001, enabled or disabled. Obviously, we would want to have this enabled. You can have a fixed price percentage of free shipping coupon. I put a fixed price of $25 because my course is only 150 so $25 seems like a fair offer for me. The usage, it is immediately redeemable. I want this to be redeemable forever if effectively. This will not auto apply an affiliate. And this will not be disabled after a fixed number of cases. You could use it to say, I, I only have 50 of those coupon codes available or something like that, but I won't do that. And then you can select which products this coupon code applies to. So we'll use the master email list segmentation course. You can again have behavior rules like this. So if somebody uses the coupon, I could add a tag to them, but I don't want to do that at this stage. And then you can select, when the code is created, you can select copy URL, select the product the code applies to, and then click copy and continue now you have the url in the clipboard and when i go to that page it takes me directly to the sales page and it auto applies the coupon as you can see the coupon has been applied the discount has been applied directly there you go and this is what you put into the call to action right here so this is the link goes directly to the same page this one as well Going back to the emails, I have another one that goes out one day later and you can obviously increase the number of emails and bug people as much as you want. Until at some point I would go from remembering or reminding them that they need to complete the purchase to asking why they didn't complete, offering them a hand, trying to gather information rather than to push them over the fence. But that is, that's a different conversation. So this is going out one day later. I noticed you have the master email segmentation course in your card, but didn't enroll yet. If you have any questions or need a hand, just reply to this email. I'll be happy to help you out. Or click below to finish the checkout and enroll. Your $25 discount still is valid. Use code and then the same, same URLs. And now we can actually publish this and it's live. Let me know if you have any questions for this quick rundown. I have the links both to my ConvertKit affiliate link and the Thrivecard affiliate link below this video. Again, I'm very happy to walk you through this in more detail. Just hit a, leave a comment below this video, hit reply, 
and get in touch frankly and I'll be happy to share more details with you what you can do with email segmentation and abandoned card recovery like this. Thanks for watching.